welcome back to my channel subscribers it is good to see you welcome back and if this is the first time that you're seeing any of my videos my name is Bwandunji and I am glad that you are here today 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 day day we are going to be talking about the Kane Prize for African literature. It is one of the banes of my existence and yet I follow it with a passion. We're going to talk about it. The Kane Prize for African Literature is an annual prize. People who have written short stories and have African citizenship themselves or their parents have African citizenship are eligible to submit their stories to the Kane Prize. It is Kane Prize season, y'all. The stories for the 2019 Kane Prize have been shortlisted. I'm going to be reading through these stories and reviewing them and judging them myself to find out whether I know, whether I can tell which story is going to win the prize. I've already read the first one, but I will not be discussing that today. That will be coming up shortly. Okay. Also, just so you know, the Kane Prize was named after uh, a giant of literature in England who was on the committee for the Booker Prize. His friends and relatives decided after he had passed that they would have this £10,000 prize given every year to a deserving author. While it is fraught with its difficulties, that is not what I am here to discuss today. Instead, I just want to talk about it, uh, especially for those who don't have a lot of information about it. It's short listed stories are free. We get to read them, we get to judge them for ourselves, and decide whether we have the chops to figure out which story is going to win. So that is my goal, but I just wanted to talk about it today, introduce it to you if, in case you don't know, because not everybody knows about the Kane Prize, you know, and we have to share our passions. Like, you know, like this video, like you've got to share it. Don't keep good things to yourself. Share. <laughs> like. Subscribe. There are some people who you may know who have won this prize or been nominated for this prize. There are very few people in the literary community who have not heard of Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie unless you are purposefully <laughs> trying to avoid literature that is written by other people. She did not win the prize, but she was nominated. Binyavanga Wainaina, who we lost last week, was one of the earliest winners of the Kane Prize. No Violet Bulawayo, she wrote a book called We Need New Names, a fascinating story about a young girl who is plucked from her home in Zimbabwe and goes to live in the US and the challenges she faces when she is there. Monica Arach Denyeko, who is Ugandan, and she wrote a story about gay people, about two people of the same sex falling in love and how it ripped their community apart. Adyamba Uwar, who is one of my favorite authors, wrote this very lyrical book called Dust. It devastated me. I put it down so many times just to think about the rich sentences she had created. But she loves poetry, so you know. Canada can fit into the African continent three times, as can the United States. There are over one billion people on the continent speaking thousands of languages, living variations of lives that we could not imagine. And it's one of the reasons why the Kane Prize is important to me because someone will tell a story. It may be a story of privilege. It may be a story of poverty. It may be a fantastical story like the first one I read. Oh my God. But I'm not talking about it today. I'll talk about it another day. But it's one of the reasons why I believe people should be able to tell stories even if you're the worst writer in the world. That's what we have editors for. Even if you don't know how to craft a story, there are ways that you can learn by just doing because the stories need to be told in order for us to understand each other. So that is why the Kane Prize is important to me. It also brings a lot of conflict in me simply because it is a prize that is given by foreigners to Africans to say, hooray, your story in English sort of suits what we believe African stories should be. And so it's just problematic. How would these writers reach readers? So I come to terms with it. I celebrate it when it comes and when it's gone, I don't think about it at all. Anyways, 
Over time, one of the positive things that has happened with the Kane Prize is that they've included more African authors and writers and people of influence in the literary community to be judges for the prize, which has helped with the quality and the variation of stories that are being told. We don't get this one note story that is coming from Africa that is about poverty and disease and a place you generally wouldn't want to go. I do not yet know when the Kane Prize will be announced, but I'm going to go ahead and read the stories and do the videos anyway. It's going to take me about five weeks to get through a video each week for the stories. If you are interested, please go ahead and read these stories. The link is in the description box below. This is my plan for what I'm going to do this Kane Price season. Number one, I'm going to read the stories and just enjoy them as they are with no judgment. Allow them to speak to me the way the author hopes possibly that it would speak to me. I really, really liked the discussion that Njeri had on her YouTube channel, on its pages, where she was discussing how it is that we rate books. That a five-star rating from one viewer doesn't really tell you what a five-star rating on by another reviewer means. It doesn't tell you anything at all. I think I want to use some of the things that she said. How did this story make me feel? And examining the story from that perspective, and then, what kind of conversations did this story actually spawn with the people around you? What kind of conversations did you want to have as a result of reading that particular story? So that's what I'm going to be doing with these stories. And I think I'm going to incorporate it in any review that I do from this point on. Because five star, two star doesn't really, it tells you that I enjoyed it or I didn't enjoy it, but it doesn't really give you any more information than that. Okay, and finally, I am going to make predictions about which story will win. So um, right now the stories are free, so please go ahead and find them if you are interested in following along with me on this journey of reading Kane Prize stories. The first one that I read had me stopping in my tracks. It brought up some interesting discussions. Anyway, I'll be talking about it in my next video. So that's all I had for you regarding the Kane Prize and the Kane Prize season. Please follow along with me and let's read these stories and find out. There's things that are happening that you have no idea about and you read a story and it's like, oh my God, people are living like this. It's an experience that I love having, which of these African writers do you know and love? I'd love to find out what kinds of things people are reading. And I don't know everything. I don't. I've been in the community for a while, but I don't know everything. Let me know the kind of books that you have been interested in coming from the African continent. And let me know if you are going to be following along with this Kane Prize story season. Ah, I'm so excited! Thank you so much for watching this video. And I want to remind you, on Monday morning at 9.30 a.m., I host write-ins on my channel. What we do is we spend 20 minutes just writing. We do that three times, and then we go on about our day, having written in the morning. Imagine that! Starting the week on a good note. And then on Wednesdays at about lunchtime, 12.30, my time, which is Eastern Standard Time, we do a prompt writing exercise. And it doesn't have to be a full story. It's just about exercising our writing juices. And it's a great way to get ideas for your story. It's a great way to start a brand new story. So come join in. It's an exciting place to be. And uh, we do have a lot of fun. Thank you so much again for being here with me. I wish you all the best in your writing endeavors. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Take care of yourselves and I will see you later in another video. Bye.